Hey everyone, it's Asai here. Welcome to my channel. For this video, we're going to be doing a subscriber's request. This request comes from Ashley. She DM'd me this photo by just underscore Dairy Nisha. I hope I'm saying that right. I probably butchered the crap out of it. But it is a very spring, summer nail design. Super simple. And I think it's just going to be really easy to achieve. Um, I did end up receiving some new items from Melody Susie that I wanted to show you guys what I got because I did win a giveaway and I'm super excited about the giveaway that I won. It is rare that I win anything so for me to win something I was like ah! But anyway, so I'm going to only use a couple of things from the giveaway. So that's what I'm going to show you. And all the other items that I don't really, that I didn't use for the giveaway. I'm actually going to do another giveaway on top of that because like why not? So yeah, I'm going to show you what I won from the giveaway and then we're going to jump right into the nail design. So one of the items that I received from this giveaway is the Melody Susie 24 Plus 4 Gel Polish Kit. I'm not really sure which kit this is. Um, they have like so many of them. But it's a lot of summer and spring colors. Really bright, really fun to play with. It does come with these extra four bottles on the side, which is a top coat, two base coats, and then a matte top coat um so i am going to be using some of the colors in this kit i'm not going to use the top coats you know because i have my own top coat but i am going to be using the colors to do this nail design the next thing that i got from them is this lamp this is the eos 5 it's a uv led nail lamp super excited about this lamp because i was in search of a new one and anything that's dealing with melody susie i know it's going to be really good it has four settings on it, which is a 15 second, 30 second, 45 second, and then a 60 second timer on it. Um, it also has the switch on the back where you could turn it on, turn it off turn it on and turn it off it is a rechargeable lamp so you could place it anywhere on the table the bottom does detach from it which i love it has like this little battery pack here so if something does happen to the physical battery you can always replace it these are rechargeable um it also has these two little stands where you tilt it up where you flip it up you could face it like that down so you can put your foot inside it gives you a little extra room so i really like this lamp what i also like about it is if you set your timer you put your hand inside and it automatically turns on and shuts off as long as you have that little switch in the back turned on so these are the two items that i'm going to be using for this design um obviously i'm going to use other products but for the melody susie itself these are the two products from the giveaway that i want that i'm going to be using in this video so to get started, this is what my nails are currently looking like. I've already prepped them. I'm just going to go over the surface of these and just buff it over because I was doing a lot of stuff prior to this video. Um, so I did go over the surface and just to buff, remove any kind of oils that may be on. Now I'm not going to leave these nails on, so I'm going to show you how I... This is me just prepping my nails and showing you how I do it when I want to take it off right after. So after I buff the surface, I do go ahead, I cleanse it, and then I'm going to use this peel off base coat. This is a is the UNT brand. I got this off of Amazon and I'm not sure if they have any more, but it is the best thing ever. I love it. So after I buff it, I do apply a very thin coat of it and I do let it air dry. I fully let it air dry. Once I fully let it air dry, it's going to look like a mat and then I'll be able to continue doing my nails as normal. So for this design, I'm going in with the extra long square non C curve tips. Um, and I do measure this from sidewall to sidewall, as you guys know. And I like to glue my tips on right at the free edge. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So when it comes to gluing them down, as you can see, I'm putting it right at that free edge as low as possible. I don't want it too high. I know some people, I don't know why, they like to follow that little inner guideline. And I should have gotten these without that guideline. But some people feel like you need to have it at that line and you don't. You put it at the very bottom as low as you can to glue it on. And that's what you're going to look at from sidewall to sidewall. Um, for me, 
it just helps make sure that the product itself, which is the hard gel, is going to stick to the nail plate versus just the tip. I noticed when I do it this way, it's also helping my nails last longer. So that might be something that you guys can think of if you are having those lifting types of issues. Uh, so this is my new nail lamp that I just launched. I'm super excited about it. It is a flash curing lamp. So you are going to need to, after you use this, if you want to do a full cure, you do have to stick your hand in the lamp for a full 60 seconds. But this does cure your nails enough to move on to the next nail and then towards the end you could do a full 60 seconds in your regular lamp so we are selling these on the website right now a lot of you already bought it and i'm so excited that you guys love it we're actually almost sold out which is mind blowing but yeah so as you can see i'm just gonna go ahead i'm going to glue these down it's really easy all you have to do put a little bit of base gel base gel on the tip glue it down and legit this is real time right here it takes a few seconds for it to be stuck on your nail and that thing ain't going nowhere okay uh one thing about this lamp once you push that button it does stay on for 60 seconds so you do have a 60 60 second window to glue your nails on or you could just turn it off and turn it on just to save the battery it is cordless you can move it around your table wherever you wish this is just a favorite of mine that I really really wanted to get out to you guys and I think it's going to be very handy for you guys if you are struggling trying to, to use that little hand one like you guys know what I mean uh, but yeah so we're gonna glue them down and I am going to make sure they are fully cured after I flash cure them in place so once I glued them down in place, I started to go in with my crystal clear hard gel and I'm going to use the number six for this. So I started off with my thumb doing it and then you are going to see that I stopped because I needed to cut down the length of uh, when I was looking at the photo, I don't know why I didn't notice it, but the nail, the length itself is shorter than the tips that I have on. So after I do this thumbnail, and all I'm doing is just adding a really thin layer, and I'm going to cure it for, a, uh, I'm going to flash cure it actually uh, for at least like 30 seconds, not long at all for it to harden. Um, I do use my mini lamp for this at that. But after I do this, you're going to see me uh, go back with some scissors and just cut them down to the desired length that I am trying to recreate from the design. Once I cut them down, I do go in with a nail file and then just file the straight, just making sure they're all even and not crooked. I did forget to post the poll that I wanted to ask you guys, so I'm going to do that um, today, actually. I'll po do the poll, and you guys can let me know what you guys prefer when it comes to your nail files, whether it's a peel and stick emery board or, you know, whatever you guys like. You let me know. I'm going to put the poll up today. <laughs> So after I filed it, I'm going to continue going in with that clear and this is just going to be my base layer. Um, and I actually did all of these in one shot and then I did go ahead and do a full cure for 60 seconds. Love to watch the way you made me into a mess. Hands on my dress. Neon red. You were everything I didn't need until you left. Now I'm dancing around my living room I get drunk on my thought of you and I When you were mine See your so I'm going to go straight in with the gel polish uh, from Melody Susie. If I could find the exact kit name, I'll link that for you guys. Um, and I do have a promo code for you so you guys can, you know, save some money. So the colors that she had, um, I tried to get the colors that she used. But I really wanted to stick to this box. So I just ended up picking colors that I wanted to pick something really light and spring-like to mimic the design that she was going for. Uh, so the colors that I chose was 253, 89, 260, 30, and then 966, which is a yellow, pink color, purple, bluish, and greenish color. So I'm going to go straight in and I'm just going to paint the bottom half of this. And then I do wipe off the extra pot polish off of the brush and then I do blend it upwards since we're going to do an ombre I wanted to make sure I had a good transition um and what I did end up noticing I did need two coats for this the only thing that I don't like about gel polish is 
once you add that layer, it's almost like you're not adding strength to it. It's kind of just adding thickness because it kind of makes the nails bulky. Um, so the fact that I had to do two layers of this kind of annoyed me a little bit, but you know, it was good coverage. I'm not going to lie, but I just wanted full, full coverage when it came to this design, especially since I was going to encapsulate and yeah i just needed two coats so after i did all of the nails i did do a flash i did do a full cure for 60 seconds and then i went in with the second layer and then i cured it like that this would have honestly probably been much easier if it was a hard gel uh but we ain't got that yet so no it's not right So for my natural color, I went in with the True Nude Hard Gel. You can get it on my website at lgmpro.com. <laughs> Um, and I started at the top and then I did a wet layer and blended it down. This took me so long to do because I wanted it precise. Now this particular nail is real time. I'm most likely going to fast forward the rest because yeah it just took me way too long to do this so after i did one thin layer and i kind of figured out where i wanted that blend to stop i did go in with a second layer on top now i didn't cure the flash uh, it didn't cure that first layer i went straight in with that second layer and this is where i start floating it downwards making sure i'm getting it close to the cuticle um at a certain point you're going to see that i stop floating it down i clean off the extra gel off of my brush and then I kind of do this swiping down motion I'm not trying to apply too much pressure um, I kind of just like slowly gently glide it down to make a little transition if you apply too much pressure you can definitely um, you know you'll see an indent which you kind of see that right there I made a little indent but I just kept slowly working it down blending it and then I cleaned off that section where I didn't want the true nude to go um so once I did that I did go ahead clean up the sides and then I did flash cure it really fast and then I do go in with a second layer just to make sure I have a better transition really focusing on where that nude and that purple color meets um, and really try to give a better transition. I'm not really focusing on the apex of it because we are going to encapsulate. Once we encapsulate with clear, that's when we can see where we need the apex, where the thickness needs to be, and all that good stuff. Uh, but as you can see, this is where I go back in and I actually went upside down to just apply the gel where I wanted it. And then again, blending it downwards to make it look like a good transition. Um, the bottom, I wanted a pure purple color. I wanted the solid bottom color. So you are going to see, I do take a lint free wipe and just clean off that bottom before flash curing it in place. Once I did this, now I did do the same steps across all of the nails. This is a pretty easy, simple design. I'm not going to say easy. It's a pretty simple design. But just to get that blends properly, you know, you do need to have a light hand. Heart overhead And I guess Love to watch the way you made me into a mess Hands on my dress Neon red you were everything I didn't need until you left Now I'm dancing around my living room I get drunk on the thought of you and I When you were mine See your eyes in every stranger I replay the way that we were till I'm high No, it's not right I miss you, baby
After I've blended the true nude and I did a full cure, I'm gonna go in and start encapsulating. Um, so I did go ahead and warm my crystal clear up because I just wanted a solid, you know, um, a solid flowing gel. So once I warm it up, it's going to be very self-leveling. It's going to move fast and it's going to give you less bubbles and that's what I want. So you're going to see I do a wet layer. I take a large amount and this is where I float it on top right down that center. Um, and then you're going to see that I kind of focus towards these sidewalls just making sure I didn't miss any kind of corners. Um, and then I do go ahead, I do a flash cure and once again the same steps across all of the nails. Once I've done that, I'm going to go in with my nail cleanser and I'm going to cleanse the surface of the nails. And then we're going to go in with a 180 nail file and sharpen the sidewalls and over the surface, making sure these are really sharp and straight and there's no lumps and bumps anywhere. From there, I went in with my fine tapered drill bit. I'm using this at 22,000 RPM and I'm going around that cuticle section, making sure it is sealed and then over the body as well. I didn't really need to do too much of the body because I kind of did the majority of it with the hand file. But once I finish doing this, I do go over and buff the surface with a buffing block. Now, since this is, since I did use a peel off base coat, I didn't do too, too much around the cuticle because this isn't staying on i just wanted to make sure that it just looked clean and you know good for photos <laughs> From there, I'm going to go in and we're going to do the swirl that's on the nail. Um, something super simple. I decided to go ahead and I took all of my colors and I put it on a palette. The colors that I've already used for the nails. Um, and I ended up taking this long striper brush. The striper brush is from Amazon. It's not the best. Um, I don't like the bristles itself are too stiff. I tried softening it and it's just not. It's Like I said, it's just not the best. Um, so I ended up taking the long striper brush and I did the swirl. I started from the top corner and then I did the S towards the bottom right. Um, and the bottom right is a little bit thicker where it ends. So I tried to keep it really thin and then go thicker as I went down. But for each nail, I'm going to use the exact color that I used on the nail already. And the fact that we encapsulated the nails is going to make the S kind of look like it's floating a little bit, which gives a really cool effect so i do that across all of the nails and i do flash cure it in between because i'm a hot mess when it comes to nails and i i always end up hitting it somehow but yeah we're gonna do that and then i'm gonna do a full cure at the end for a full 60 seconds
Last and final step, I'm going in with my shiny No Wipe Top Coat. And when I applied this, I applied this a little bit thicker than normal. I just wanted a really clean um, surface. Uh, but after I do that, I do go ahead and I do a full cure for 60 seconds. And this is the final look. It's a very simple, cute, very spring-like nail design. I think it's super cute. I'm actually really liking the length. It is shorter than what I normally do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This design actually is very similar to something that I've already done with some uh, acrylic powder if you haven't seen that video i'm going to link it above for you guys but yeah i think they came out really cute even though they're different colors than the photo it looks pretty freaking close <laughs> But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.